If the New York Jets are due for a complete franchise turnaround, this is the year it begins. The Jets traded up to the third pick in the NFL draft and watched USC quarterback Sam Darnold fall right to them. While Darnold wasn't our top pick for quarterback, he was a top plenty of boards. Still, this is a team in transition that overachieved last season with a 5-11 record. This was a squad that looked like it had tanked for the year even before it began. Head coach Todd Balls had other ideas and earned himself a contract extension in the process. The regular season win total for the Jets is set at five and a half games. While New York made a pick for the future in Sam Darnold, it probably won't help a lot in the present. The fact is, the longer that the rookie quarterback out of USC stays on the bench, the more likely the Jets are to win games. The only problem is, a few wins this year will be pretty much worthless. They need Darnold to play and learn. Unless Darnold can beat out Josh McCown in the preseason, and he might, Josh McCown will be the starter. Under McCown, the Jets won five games last year, at least four more games than they should have. Whether it's McCown or Darnold, or Teddy Bridgewater for that matter, none of these guys have any elite weapons to work with. Jermaine Curse is a decent wideout, but has no significant help in getting open from Quincy Inunua and Robbie Anderson. Both those guys would be fine slot or number threes, but neither are a one or two. The Jets have loaded up at running back with castoffs from other teams. Bilal Powell is still probably the most talented guy in the backfield, but he'll have to fend off Isaiah Crowell and Thomas Rawls. So points are going to be at a premium in New York. Defense is the strength of this team, as they've added key pieces. Tremaine Johnson joins a defensive backfield that already had Morris Claiborne, Jamal Adams, Marcus May, and Buster Scrine. The Jets will be weaker up front with the loss of Muhammad Wilkerson, but they're solid at linebacker. The problem, of course, is the Jets' schedule, and that is a monster. In their first eight games, they face off against the Detroit Lions, Miami Dolphins, Cleveland Browns, Jackson Jaguars, Denver Broncos, Indianapolis Colts, Minnesota Vikings, and the Chicago Bears. There are only really two games there that New York has a chance in hell of winning, the Browns and the Bears, and neither game is a sure thing. That means if you bet the over, you must see them winning those games at least, and picking up four more wins either from that first group of games or in the second half of the season, where they'll face the Dolphins again, the Buffalo Bills twice, the New England Patriots twice, the Houston Texans and Green Bay Packers. We just don't see six wins there. Frankly, we don't even see five. So the under is the way to bet here. For more information and statistics on this event and every other sporting event this week, check out bangthebook.com. Bang the Book is your best resource for sports betting information before you make your weekly assault on the sportsbooks.